In this video, we're going to try and find the power series representation of this on this integral. Meaning, we are trying to rewrite this as a, as a power series. That would be something times x to the power of 1, something times x to the power of 2, something times x to the power of 3, and so on, all the way to infinity, all the way to infinity. So our aim here is to rewrite this as a power series. But before we do that, let's consider something simple. Um, we've seen this in the past. Uh, this is a, ge a geometric series. Here you start at z n equals 0, and then this will be n. And here you start at 1, but then it will be n minus 1. So these two are equivalent. So, uh, so this will then generate all these terms. Now, if, if you're trying to sum up all these terms uh, from 1 all the way to infinity, in order for us to sum up from, from the first all the way to infinity, uh, we, we, would, we would first need to consider summing up the first n terms. So, so our, our next aim is to try and find a formula for, for summing up all these terms. But in order for us, for us to do that, we would uh, we would just sum up. Let's just consider our summing up the first n terms. So so here when n equals one, this will be n minus one. So this will be n minus one. So uh, so in order for us to sum up all, all the terms from one to infinity, let's just consider summing up the first n terms. So that will be us summing up the first n terms. So from here, times both sides by x. So times this side by x and then times this side by x. So this times this would then give you x. This times this would then give you x squared. This times this would then give you this, and so on. So now now get Sn. So now get this thing. Take away, take away this thing. Take away this thing. So we are getting this. Take away this. When, when you do that, uh, these two will cancel out. These two will cancel out. These two will cancel out. These two would cancel out. These two would cancel out, and then, uh, and then, and then. So, so this take away this. So this take away this would be would leave you one, and then zero take away this would then give you minus x to the power of n. So, um, so, so now, now factorize the uh, the Sn. So that would then give you this, and then divide both sides by this. So Sn equals this thing here. So what that means is, you well, what that means is is uh, remember we are trying to sum up from from one all the way to infinity. But in order for us to do that, we would consider summing up the first n terms. So so what you've got here, S n here represents us summing up the first n terms. Uh, so so here we've got a formula. So here we've got a formula for us summing up the first n terms. But we want to sum up everything all the way to infinity. So um. So, so here we've got a formula for us summing up the first n terms, but we want it all the way to infinity. So what we do here is look at this thing. Now take the limit as n heads towards infinity. Now when n heads towards infinity, when n heads towards infinity, provided the modulus of x is less than one, then uh, so so for example, if 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 x is 0.98. As n as as you take the limit as n heads towards infinity, then then you can have this. You're going to have this to the power of n. Now, as n heads towards infinity, uh, 0.98 times by itself, let's say 1,000 times, it's going to head towards zero. So as n heads towards infinity, this thing here is going to head towards towards zero. So uh, so 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 uh, so what that means is you. When you when you take the limit as n heads towards infinity, then the whole summation from from one all the way to infinity would equal this. So this here is a formula for you summing up everything from one all the way to infinity. Here you're summing up to the n the the first nth terms. So when you take the limit as n tends to infinity, then uh, then 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 this thing here heads towards zero. So so this is a formula for you summing up everything from one to infinity. So, hang on. So, uh, so you summing up everything from one, from the first term all the way to infinity is, well, well, here's a formula for you summing up everything from the first all the way to infinity. So, so we can visualize this as being, well, if this thing here, if this whole thing here all the way to infinity equals this, then I, then I can also say this thing equals this thing. So, so we can say that this thing equals this thing or we can say this thing equals this thing so 
So what what I'm trying to do here is I'm going to imagine I'm going to imagine this. I'm going to set this. I'm going to imagine this as a function. So uh, so so this function here is the same as this thing here. And don't forget this thing here is the same as this thing here. Um. So now we'll, we'll, we'll remember back to the original question. The original question was was really us trying to um to to rewrite this as a power series. So if you look at this here, hang on. Uh, this thing is exactly the same as this thing. So what that means is is uh, we we can integrate both sides. Now when you integrate this, you when you integrate this, you're looking for something in such a way that when you differentiate it, it gives you this. Well, you should make this to be your initial guess. Integrate it uh, one minus x here. Now when you differentiate this, it will then give you one over x. Uh, sorry, it will give you. Uh, 1 minus x and then you've got a times the derivative of the bubble itself which will be which will be minus 1 which will be minus 1 this gets multiplied to the top so that will then give you this so 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 the point here is that looking at this we are trying to represent this as a power series but then when you look at this when you look at when you look at this when you integrate it it gives you this so the point I'm trying to make here is that we know that this equals this so if you integrate both sides, which I will do in the video, eventually it will lead us to to this, which I will do in the next video. Okay, so so we are currently we are currently here.